Hi, I'm going to introduce you to this powerful 3D orbital mechanics app, iTraject. iTraject is based on Newton's second law of motion, the universal law of gravity, and Kelper's law of planetary motion. Thanks to its enhanced numerical capabilities, iTraject allows you to carry out a broad range of maneuvers. Let's jump in. To use camera functions, you can orbit around by dragging with one finger, zoom with two fingers pinching, and change the view for Earth, Moon, and spacecraft by swiping with two fingers. To change a parameter, simply press the parameter button which you would like to change and increase or decrease with rotatable button. In the coordinate axis, red arrow line represents X axis, blue arrow line represents Y axis, and green arrow line represents Z axis. After you have initiated first fire, you cannot change position and time values for continuity. You need to restart the simulation. In the time tab, you can travel in a year range of 1950 to 2050 years and obtain dynamical time regarding to current UTC. In the position and velocity tab, true position and velocity are represented with respect to the epoch of current date in geocentric equilateral frame. Kepleron elements are calculated via true position and velocity. By using the theta offset button you can predict the remaining time to reach the target. Current time is directly updated by the offset time which allows visualizing final position of target with ease. This is useful for lunar missions. iTraject gets your location info and uses your location as a ground station. Azimuth, angular, elevation, and distance of spacecraft is given according to your GPS location. In the moon tab, you can see the moon's true position and velocity in geocentric equilateral frame for the current time. In the epoch tab, you can get precision and nutation angles as well as the angle of obliquity of the ecliptic. They are useful for converting mean parameters to true parameters of spacecraft and moon. At the end, by changing time, position, and velocity, ground station, epoch, Kepleron, and moon panels are simultaneously being updated. You can find more details in the help window. Here, symbols, abbreviations, and documentation of theoretical background can be found. Let's make a lunar mission as an example. Increase the radial velocity until orbital prediction plane captures the moon. Modify position if necessary. Use theta offset button to shift the initial time until spacecraft reaches to moon sphere of influence. After reaching to the target, modify initial date again for moving moon to its previous location. When lunar contact light is on, spacecraft will be in moon sphere of influence in that specific time. Now you are ready to go. During travel, date and rotatable buttons can be used to slow down the simulation steps after the spacecraft enters Moon's sphere of influence, it is convenient to maneuver at per each point. While an orange dashed line is drawn with respect to Moon, cyan dashed line is drawn with respect to Earth. To escape Moon's sphere of influence, increase the velocity. You can press any button at any time to check trajectory of spacecraft. Log of maneuvers are kept in flight records menu where you can find 20 maneuvers of your flight at most. Visit www.liargames.com for more details.